So what exactly is the Antichrist? The Antichrist. Who is the Antichrist? What is the Antichrist? Personally, I think the Antichrist is AI. I don't know. That's just a radical personal belief I have. I think AI is going to raise the Antichrist. But the more traditional thought is the Antichrist is a man. He's going to take over Earth. And I'm not sure if this is in Scripture or if this has been twisted, but I've always been taught that the Antichrist takes over Earth. At, he starts preaching pre peace, peace, peace. He wants peace on Earth. He gets assassinated, and then he comes back, and Satan has taken him at that point, and Satan's controlling the Antichrist in a human form. And um, that's when you'll see him start, the Mark of the Beast come in, uh, stuff like that start happening after his resurrection. So we're all going to think the Antichrist is dead, this human leader is dead, he's going to get possessed by Satan and come back to life, so then we're going to think he's a god, and he's going to possess himself as a god, uh, and tell us he is a god, and that we need to take his mark. And... Uh, that's basically who I understand the Antichrist to be. I'm not an expert on the Antichrist, but that's just what I understand it from what I've studied. Okay, one more. Um, so the purpose of this film is also to, to kind of plant seeds and get people to read the Bible, um, especially those who haven't been saved or don't know Jesus. Now, without name dropping, would you say that in the film industry, um, there has been seeds planted in certain uh, sci-fi films that has a pattern that follows this Messiah or this this uh, you know this holy person that's going to come in and rain retribution and, and, and save everyone would you say that that's true and if so what do you think the reason is that behind that so in Christian films are there seeds for Jesus or seeds for the Antichrist uh, in, all films. in all films in all films in all films. <laughs> in all films. Do you think that there may be, uh, there's, there's seed droppings in there? Because there's a, there's a pattern that kind of follows a certain storyline of, 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 of an angel, a supernatural power, or someone from another planet. Are you talking about proud souls? <laughs> you trying to get into talk about proud souls? Oh, sorry. So what do you want to talk about, Ryan? Just tell me all. Okay, I'll just tell you. I mean, like, like Star Wars. Um, like, Star Wars has a lot of things in it, if you think about okay. it. That's kind of like very biblical, uh, sci-fi, just, you know, different things. The Matrix, there's always one. Just all, just, just this person. It's not an antagonist, it's the uh, protagonist. I got you. Okay. Yeah, so comparing Jesus to Hollywood in films, I think Jesus is like, he's the hero. He's the ultimate hero. So if you think about the hero's journey when you're writing, what is the hero's journey? It starts with the regular world, right? Your heroes in the regular world, it's just everyday life. So Jesus was born in Bethlehem. He was an average person at first. And then he was baptized by John the Baptist and the Holy Spirit took over. And he led his disciples and life was so great, but like in any movie, when stuff's going so great, there's gotta be a setback, right? And this was a major setback. He was betrayed by Judas and then crucified, but it didn't stop there. So our hero's journey is not over here. What does the hero do? He comes back. He comes back for resurrection after the setback. He comes back and makes things right. So, and then he returns to the real world with zest and pep and triumphant. So if you think about writing and films, you always think about our heroes and they follow the same hero's journey. Almost in every single movie, the hero follows the same journey. Well, Jesus follows the same journey in scripture. So Jesus is the ultimate hero. You can compare Jesus to Hollywood, but he is the ultimate hero on the ultimate hero's journey. Is that kind of what you're looking for? Okay, yeah, without, <laughs> without the last line, but yeah. 